What's up guys, Boss here and I'm back with another YouTube video. And you probably saw from the title and the thumbnail, the truth about bands and Clash Royale. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. I wanna make this very clear before I begin. This is just an informal video, giving you guys information about just stuff that I think you all would be very interested to know. And I promise before this video is done, you will have learned something that you have not known and I can guarantee that because I have some very basically shocking things that I want to talk about at the end of the video that you guys I'm sure have not heard of before. But first, I want to talk about the basics and that's what you can be banned for and the duration of each ban. So the first thing I'll talk about is inappropriate language. So a lot of you guys probably know about this one. You can be banned for two days, uh, first offense for inappropriate language. So that means if you're cussing at someone or even saying uh, curse words at all can be bad, certain type of words, that results in a two day ban. A lot of you guys probably know about that one. That's the most common one. But then guys, there's a ban similar to that that you guys might not know all about and that's disruptive behavior. So what that means is it's taking it a little bit further than inappropriate language. In this ban, often results in a week or even a month long suspension of your account even if it's your first offense because what this ban means is that you said something racist sexist or you were just threatening someone saying something really really severe to someone that results in a longer ban of your account and there's some cases where it's actually been a permanent ban first offense so the bottom line is is just respect your clan and neither of these two bans will happen to you now we're moving on to other bans that are i would say a little bit more serious because they're always a longer suspension of your account no matter what the case is and it's account sharing so account sharing i'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about it before but basically what it is is it either means that you've gone on someone else's account and pushed them and if that's the case your personal can actually be banned for that a lot of people don't know that but if you're pushing someone else's account your own account if they track that it's your personal on your same phone you can end up being banned your own account for playing on someone else's and then the account you push for 31 days as well and it's always at least a 31 day ban the only reason it would be a permanent ban for the first offense is if they caught you and you've done it multiple times. Otherwise, it's a 31 day ban. And then as long as you don't do it again, no more bans will occur. Now, the one that's probably the most serious that in almost all cases results as a permanent ban is in-game cancellation orders. And what that means, majority of the time, is that the person has bought cheap gems. It could also mean that they've refunded gems in the App Store or Google Play Store, but in majority of cases, it is from cheap gems. And I'm gonna explain a little bit briefly about what cheap gems are. So what it means is you have a gem dealer on some websites, or maybe they just talk to you directly, reach out to you saying that they're gonna sell you cheap gems. And a lot of people think it's because they're from other countries, so they have cheaper, like a cheaper currency and that's how they're able to do it that is actually not at all the case guys it is done through stolen credit cards and it's actually it's very serious pretty illegal and some of the dealers have actually gotten arrested for it so it's just really something you want to stay away from so if you're offered cheap gems no first of all you have a risk of getting permanently banned if you bought in a certain amount you're guaranteed to be permanently banned but if it's not too much you receive a 31 day but in lots of cases it ends up being a permanent ban so moving on i'm going to talk about now how supercell enforces the bans which a lot of people don't actually know about so the disruptive language and the inappropriate language those bans anyone can be banned for it doesn't matter if you're at the 4k range it doesn't matter if you're at you know number one in the world it doesn't matter anyone can be banned for that because that's a report through your clan however account sharing bans and cheap gems 
it's a little bit interesting because not everyone in the game gets caught for those two offenses because how it works is is supercell can't check every single account so what they often do is they only check accounts in the top 200 so you're seeing people getting banned in the top 200 all the time for account sharing in cheap gems but you're not really seeing anyone below that range getting banned like people at the 5k range 600 range 6k range excuse me or people who are even in the top 500 and that's because they aren't in that rate like that radius for supercell to check them so i feel like that's something a lot of people didn't know and i wanted to talk about that because i feel like personally i don't think that it should be that way i think everyone um should basically have to follow the same rules and i don't think if you're in the top 200 that makes you more important or above anyone else maybe you guys feel a different way about that but let me know what you guys think on that cheap gems i think the rage for that is a little bit uh bigger because that's a bigger offense and they're really wanting to crack down on people uh buying cheap gems because it's illegal and that's more important so i believe that range is about top 1000 that they're checking for cheap gems but don't quote me on that the one i know for sure is account sharing and now guys i'm going to talk about some ways people avoid being banned and if supercell watches this video i think that would actually be a good thing because there's a couple things that people are doing to avoid having to worry about having their account banned or the account they're pushing banned so i'm referring to account sharing as well as cheap gems i guess too but mostly account sharing so what a lot of pushers actually do is they've gotten basically kind of smart about this because they know if they're in the top 200 they're subject or they're in the radius of being banned so what they do is they push accounts only in the top 400 and 500 still earning some money maybe they're even pushing an account that is not fully maxed but they know they're safe to push the account because they're not getting into the top 200. So basically, since they're not in that top 200 range, they're safe and they're free to be pushing the account. Um, like, I personally think maybe Supercell should try to increase the radius of the accounts they ban because there are, like, a lot of people doing this who are in the top 1,000, just pushing an account not insanely high up, but still high and it's enough to avoid being detected by supercell and there's one last way major way people have avoided being banned and this guys is the thing that i promise you guys have never heard of because no one has ever talked about this before and this is something that i found very shocking when i first heard about it so you guys might of course ask well, how do I know about this? I'll tell you guys the truth how I know. I have a lot of friends in the top 100 and, you know, they, they always, they, um, you know, they talk to me about, you know, stuff, stuff like this. And it turns out the last few seasons, the reason why accounts in the top 100 haven't been banned, you guys remember a few seasons ago how there was that mass ban wave. Well, it turns out another one of those hasn't happened and here's why. Apparently, there's a lot of accounts in the top 100, especially in the top 20 and 30, where some of the best people in the game are playing on those accounts, where the account owner ships their phone, like literally ships their phone to the pusher, like even if they live in another country. You guys are probably thinking, what? And I'm serious. So what that means is, is they're shipping their phone to the pusher so then that way their account is not at risk of getting banned because what that means is the account isn't being accessed by another phone it's the same phone just in another country and what that looks like to supercell is that the person just moved or something or has been traveling so then they end up not getting banned for that I don't know guys like to me when i found that out i thought that was absolutely crazy i think that's taking things a little bit too far 
in my opinion, over just, you know, a, a mobile game, like, and there's so many things that I feel like are bad at that about sending your phone to your pusher. First of all, you might have personal information on your phone that they'll be able to access. And then second of all, you, I mean, you're sharing your address with the owner. So there's yeah two bad things. And then third, of course, just the fact that you're taking it a little bit too seriously, in my opinion, over just a game. Like you shouldn't have to... Like, you shouldn't have to feel the need to do that. I mean, that's just what I think, though. Let me know your guys' opinion on it. Um, but that's something that's been happening recently. And I'm not going to lie. I don't like that people are doing it. But I do think that whoever came up with that was pretty smart. Because that is kind of a way to honestly avoid being banned for account sharing. So I do have to admit that that's whoever came up with that idea was pretty smart, but there are a lot of risks to it. And I think it is taking it a little bit too far. All right. The last thing I want to talk about guys, and then we'll call the video is win trading. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because this is not a bannable offense. A lot of people have been talking about it recently, how last season, a lot of people in the top 10, top 20 have been win trading so my personal opinion on it is i don't really like win trading because i myself have never done it um i'm a i'm a uh, player who you know always plays in the top 100 and i always uh like i'll admit i do snipe people um but i have never win traded and i'm gonna tell you guys why i don't think win trading is a good thing because Win trading means you're giving yourself a win from another account or one of your own accounts that you push. So you're basically guaranteeing yourself a win. And what that often means is you end up finishing top 10, number one, whatever it may be, um, like guaranteed off of getting a win. Like you're not actually earning the win yourself. Um, and I think that's a lot different than sniping. As you guys know, there is a lot diff uh, There is a lot of sniping in the top 200. That's been just kind of a known fact. And if you guys don't know what sniping means, it means you're trying to match up with someone who you have a good matchup against. But win trading, it, you're literally giving yourself a win and you know you're going to play against yourself. You know you're going to get that win and it's not a real fight because you're simply playing against yourself. So I'm not going to mention any names, but you guys know it has been going on. And I personally think the way to address this so it doesn't keep happening is I think a weak ban for first win trade offense would be fair. If you guys think that's too long, let me know. Maybe a two day ban would be more fair. But I honestly think a weak ban that isn't insanely long because you are kind of in a way cheating. You're preventing the people who don't win trade. Uh, from finishing higher because of you doing it. So I do think a weak ban wouldn't be too long, but let me know what you guys think about that. And also, um, I'm trying to think if I missed anything. Yeah, I think guys, that was just the main things I want to address in this video. I hope you guys learned something. I, I promised you guys at the beginning of the video that you guys would learn something and i'm pretty sure you guys did because there are a few things i mentioned i think or at least a couple that you guys have probably never heard of before um but if you like this video please like it and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more videos like this and also let me know what you guys want to see next thanks again guys until next time